Good morning. This is very, very stylish here. It's been nearly a month since I posted a video, um, but I think today is appropriate. Happy Juneteenth, everybody. I'm gonna vlog my day because it's really packed, but I just wanna commemorate this day by vlogging it and letting you know how important it is to me and all those that look like me. For those of you that don't know, Juneteenth is a day of emancipation that happened two years later in Texas. As you know, the Emancipation Proclamation only allowed freedom in certain states. If you actually read the proclamation, it only allowed freedom in certain states if you, if you read it. In Texas, um, Texas enslaved people, I don't call them slaves, but Texas enslaved people freed themselves June 19th, 1865. Not soldiers, but themselves. They did it themselves. So, happy Juneteenth. grandmother and my grandfather who are not here and uh, I made an offering to them and started crying here and we just affirmed that we were going to have clarity in this moment this is my friend Sade and we just know that we're prepared for this moment right now and we had to have this moment of meditation so so our path is very clear as black women in this world happy Juneteenth here. I'm with my friend here, Annalie, and we met two weeks ago at a protest. And now look at us, we're here at a vigil at Rockaway Beach, and some other friends were here too. I came with my friend Mary, but I'm leaving with her because she lives in Queens. And there's more things to come. I have a workshop at 12, I'm performing at 2.30, then after 2.30 I'm figuring out what we're doing after that. So. so you know, it ain't a Juneteenth unless you walk up in a beauty supply store. So, that's right, how we So I just got back from the beach. I think my friends took the long way. Anyway, <coughs> now I'm about to walk my dog. I'm about to do this online workshop at 1245 at the new school. And I'm performing at 2.30 with uh, Purdue Black Cultural uh, Center. My neighbor gave me this Black Lives Matter uh, t-shirt. So I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm about to walk this dog. Cause she's black too. Happy Juneteenth to her. All right, so we're gonna head back. I just did a little quick little walk before I have to get online. Okay, everyone. So now I'm about to do this online workshop with the new school. I'll start, I'll try to see if I can get some video of this, but we're doing a Juneteenth writing as healing workshop. Here I am, everybody. About to do a writing for healing with the new school. So I'm excited. I'll, I'll see if I can try to get some, um, some, 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 video so you can turn your videos on um, now and just stay muted so um, you can hear what's happening and you can uh, you know you can at least see me and also those who can hear can hear me um, and we'll go from there all right so I couldn't show y'all everything because it was an engaging workshop but but it was great so now I got about 15 minutes and I'll be doing a five, six minute set um, on Instagram. So. Gorgeous brown cherub, a server of the people, beloved and not believed, not seen. You are me. We are queen. Right, we're going to bike to Flushing Meadows Corona Park. It's two and a half miles. So let's go. George Floyd! George Floyd! George Floyd! George Floyd! 
We out here. So this is part two of Juneteenth. We're in the, another part of Queens. We were in Rockaway earlier. Now we are in Flushing. And we're trying to support the neighborhood and trying to be out here. So we went to go get something to eat post Juneteenth things. And we found a Black Lives Matter protest park. This is MacArthur Park in Queens. And uh, Juneteenth has been a good one. A great Juneteenth, even in quarantine. If you're tired of hearing about racism, imagine how tired we are about experiencing it. That's it. The peace is not merely the absence of tension, it's the presence of justice. Woo! So good. White silence is violence. Absolutely. I will never understand, but I stand. Yes! See? Whoever wrote that, understand. So we decided to get some food. And now we're gonna sit out in the park and enjoy this food. Well, I look like a nice greasy ball of juiciness. Okay, everybody. Yeah. So I am back, I'm about to take a shower. But Juneteenth was pretty good this year, I gotta say. Um, that vigil this morning was like the best height, the highlight of my day I saw four lovely friends. I came with a friend and I saw three extra friends. So I'm just really happy about that. I cried so hard. Um, I did a workshop, then I performed. Then we tried to go to another protest, but it was just, it was kind of, mm, I didn't want to be a part. Um, and then we got something to eat. And then now I'm back home, about to take a shower, about to get myself together. I don't even know if I'm gonna work out tomorrow, but I rode my bike for five, uh, it's gotta be five miles. Uh, I got lost so many times. But anyway, happy Juneteenth to all of you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Bye.